right, hello everybody. And uh, in this particular video, this is the last section of notes from biology chapter one. And in this one, we're, we're going to link everything now to the general idea of what the study of biology is about. Um, some of this is lost in the video presentation because we, we discuss more in class about what's going on here. Um, so what I would have is I have these images on here and we have an amoeba, microscopic organism, and then there's, we have a picture of these um, cave features in here, stalactites, stalagmites, I can never remember which is which, but it's one of those. And we'll lead off with the question about, one of these is obviously alive, and how do you know which one is alive? And so I have students eventually give me some details here on what makes one alive and what makes the other one not alive. Uh, and they will say something about movement. And that's absolutely true. One of them is moving, and then I'll bring up, well, you know, generally trees don't move, and generally plants don't seem to be moving, uh, at least on a locomotion type of uh, a scale there. And uh, we'll eventually swing the conversation around, and I'll eventually do some, uh, some digging, and we'll talk about growth. And... Um, living things tend to grow and then I'll say well you got these stalagmite stalactite things here uh, they grow over time they get larger and so we get into this idea here that it's hard to define what a living thing is and so when we're studying living things we're of course studying the science of biology bio meaning life and logi meaning study of uh, at this point we segue in the class and uh, some of the things I'm not going to do for you, uh, we have this activity called Sammy is Alive, which is a progression of, uh, of ills that befall a certain individual, and uh, they have limbs replaced and organs replaced until eventually they are computerized um, simulation, so to speak. And we ask, at what point in time did Sammy become alive? Or, I'm sorry, did not become alive, or if he ever was not alive. And then I segue and we look at some videos of some different organisms that hopefully a lot of students have never seen before. And I tell them to look at the characteristics and what kinds of things um, defines this thing as being alive. And we haven't made the definitions yet. And so after those discussions, uh, we finally segue in here and we start listing out our eight characteristics according to our textbook. Um, again, these things change a lot, and it's, it's hard to make definitions on this. Uh, but generally speaking, living things are made out of basic unit called cells. All living things are based on a genetic code. Generally, that genetic code is DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. Uh, they need to obtain and use materials and energy. They need to eat and then use that food for nourishment, energy, to do some kind of work. Living things tend to grow and develop, and we can talk about the difference between growing and developing. Growing is physical size, developing is in changing of features, like going through adolescence and things like that. Um, insects do it. You have the, the uh, larva stage and the pupa stage, and finally they emerge into the adult stage. That's development. Uh, they respond to their environment. And I had several videos that showed things responding to their environment. They maintain stable internal environment, which is called homeostasis. There's a lot of energy required just to maintain a human at proper pH in their body in different regions and proper, proper body temperature, etc. And then the last one is that taken as a group or population, these things tend to change over time, which is our evolutionary feature here. So it should be noted that if you have one of those characteristics, you are not simply considered alive. Uh, you got to have several of those characteristics in order to be considered a living thing. And so what's the living thing is kind of a more difficult task uh, than a lot of people imagine. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good night.